Hey, this is Mirgloff, and this is the BGSF Minecraft server. And over there is the spawn town, but today in this video, I'm going to... Oh yeah, this is the vanilla map of the server, by the way. As opposed to the Tekkit one, where, which is the map you usually see when I have uh, the other BGSFers uh, on the uh, TeamSpeak call. But in today's video, we're going to check out a... Uh, a sort of jungle village-esque thing that uh, some people have tried their hands at since it's the first time we've had a, a jungle biome like this on our server. There's uh, Kakra's cobblestone treehouse there. And, uh, you know, it's the inside isn't anything spectacular, at least not spectac spectacular enough to uh, make a diversion in this video, as I want to be a little bit concise. It's not that I don't think it's not worth seeing per se, but it's not the point of this video. And I kind of like this uh, single wood, I think it's half blocks actually, just a, a one by one corridor like this. It reminds me when I was uh, of when I was a kid. And uh, we used to have, we used to live in a very wooded property. It was uh, almost like a jungle because it was swampy. And uh, we we had paths that we'd made that we made out of wood planks that went for miles, sort of like this. And it reminds me a lot of it. We would just uh, go walking on it sometimes. It was really cool. And yeah, just uh, the way that the path worked is that you would have br branches and br uh, brushes, not brushes like bushes. Uh, just touching on your soldiers you walk through, but this is the, uh, this almost seems like what a, an NPC village should look like if it were to be generated in a jungle. I don't think it is, though. I'm, I'm almost, actually, I'm, I'm positive, 100% positive that this is not a NPC generated village, but this is certainly what it should be if they, if they were to be generated in, uh, jungles. I'm sure that's, uh, whoever built this had that kind of intention in their mind. Or maybe not. But I just think this uh, this little village thing that's going on here is very interesting, very cool. And we'll go up here too. I haven't really explored it too much. We'll go up there and check out those tree houses. Is this a tree house here as well? It appears so. We'll just uh, climb up here and find out. And uh, a point that I was trying to make in uh, the previous BGSF vanilla map video I was trying to make, but I was kind of tired and wasn't able to uh, finish the thought without getting distracted, which was uh, the uh, the veterans, the people that you've whose names would be familiar if you uh, followed these videos throughout the uh, history of the BGSF server, you would uh, recognize many names. But uh, basically the old crew, as opposed to a lot of new new members, uh, I said that the uh, the old crew, mostly on the Tekka server, which is true, but uh, quite a few of them do come onto the vanilla map. Uh, some of them are actually majorly exclusive to the vanilla map, such as Mr. E. Papa Fern switches back and forth, such as I do. I'm really generally only on the Tekka server when I'm uh, on the TeamSpeak call with the other guys. And sometimes I make videos then. And uh, let's see. It's very late in the evening for uh, them, which is why I'm not on TeamSpeak now. How did I get in here and how do I get out? So we t we've, we've taken a look at this, uh, this tree house as I've rambled on. And it looks pretty nice. It blends in. Kind of looks like it's oh, j j j looks like it, it's a hanging one though, and I suppose it works. Uh, I mean, doesn't look particularly natural, I don't think, but uh, you can't really tell from the ground. So, and it looks cool. So it, I don't think it really matters that it doesn't look structurally sound. It's very interesting. I, I admire it. I enjoy it. 
I don't know why I'm speaking as the way I am. But we're going to take a look over there. I don't know, I just say things weird all the time, so I don't know why I'm surprised at what I say. If you want, if you don't believe me that I don't, that I say weird things, just, uh, let's see, where is it? Yeah, here is me saying, my name is Andrew Pickleman and I like breasts. It's just a random thought I had. Uh, okay. And I felt it was necessary to share that with Mr. E. I think he appreciated it. Turn Street. This would be Turns the Page. There's an ocelot. Does he want some bread? Or should I commit a horrible crime so foul? Let's just get back here. Die, die, die. Kill this cat. It's the first ocelot I've ever seen, and I've murdered it. And I don't have a palate cleanser. Sorry, guys. I don't know. I was kind of... I don't have any fish, so I just figured might as well murder it. Or I could have just let it be. That's probably the more uh, nice guy thing to do, I suppose. Whoa, this is dangerous. But cool. Look. So it's... <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I just completely lost that train of thought. Is there a second floor? Does not appear to be. I thought I saw one. Yeah, I see something up there. What's up with that? How do we get up there? I'm asking you guys. No, seriously, there doesn't appear to be any way up there. Oh, oh, okay. It's just... It's kind of camouflaged. Kind of cool. It's sort of like a, uh, I don't know, just the, the the way the vines are. It's like a vine tunnel, a vertical vine tunnel. Here we go. And I bet I could dive into there. I'll do that later. Is there any other tree houses? Yeah, there's one over there. We'll take a look at that too. I got a feeling I can go up further too. We'll just take this shortcut here. This is pretty cool. I like this. Uh, I don't think I'll be adding any kind of treehouse of my own over here, though. I've got too many other projects that I need to work on. Such as the werewolf village. Slash mansion. I think I'm going to do a mansion. It's a lot more work. But I think I can make a really cool mansion with the new types of woods. Ah, uh, and I've... This vines mess up my jump. Here we go, and we'll just try and find a way to, up to that third tree house. I'm pretty sure it's Papa Ferns, so I, I remember him saying something about the jungle. I couldn't understand it very well, because he has a horrendously thick Scottish accent. Uh, let's see. Somewhere over here is probably a normal path, that, such as right here that I walked by. Derp. Is this floor one? No, I don't think so. This must be floor one here. There's doors in backwards, but that's okay. Cake. Oh wait, this is Elrond. Hmm. Uh, and about cake, it reminds me I'm kind of depressed. The entire time that I've ever played Minecraft, until today, I had never eaten cake. Not once. I hadn't even, I've never even crafted it, but today I accidentally clicked on that cake in my house. And I ate a little bit of it, and that's upset me. Because I have never, I, I had a, uh, a, sort of like a, a kill streak, but a non, but a cake, a non-cake eating kill streak is what I had. And there's an enderman, no, it's not an enderman, that's a nether portal? What kind of lunatic would put a nether portal in, in a treehouse? I guess that would be Elrond. I don't want to go into the nether. That seems like a horrible idea. As I mostly because I don't really want to lose what I have on me. I want to repair this with the MCMMO. I think that's how it said. Uh, how do I get... Ah, that's what I was trying to avoid. 
anyways, that's basically it. How do we get down? So confusing. Uh, basically it... What the hell? Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm gonna figure out how to get down on my own time. I'll see you guys later.